Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. In this update video we're going to be covering some changes made to the PSP Craft server, which is basically going to be getting its version 0.2 pre-release 3 update today. But before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you go down there, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So for today's update, basically what we were able to do was we were able to add in a bunch of administrative commands into basically the PSP Craft server. Now the reason I have it uh, attached over USB and running PSP link is because it's a lot simpler and a lot faster if I would just do it this way uh, in order to change files and other things uh, on the PSP Craft server directory. But as you can see, it's not actually loaded yet, so let's go ahead and jump over here to start the actual uh, PSP. So it's going to start right there. I'm going to turn on the server, which is going to connect to my hotspot. Hot spot. Meanwhile, I'm also going to switch over back here. Now that that's running, it should be able to basically uh, authenticate, which you'll see in about a second. And we have now authenticated with the PSP server. Let's go ahead and connect to the server and we've logged in. So there's not a whole lot to see, uh, which is to be expected. Uh, but if we were to do run a command, like let's say slash stop, we don't have adequate permissions to actually execute this command. So we can do slash help, slash help still needs uh, a few more things to be added in for that to actually work correctly. <laughs> it's not actually listing all the commands right now, uh, and that's incorrect. Uh, that will be changed in the future. But currently, I don't have any operator permissions, uh, which means that I have to disconnect. And the easiest way to modify this is if I go over here into the craft server directory, uh, which is up here, and I change the player data for my player. This will launch up in about a second here. And I change the operator level up here from zero to four. Four is the maximum level. Uh, and you see this UUID as my uh, player ID, which is just generated on runtime by the server. Technically, the server could duplicate an ID, but it's very, very unlikely that I would do so uh, due to the fact of the way that it works. Regardless, if I go back and connect now, I will be able to run commands like slash stop. Uh, I don't want to run slash stop, so let's go ahead and do like slash say to type in a message. And now we have verified that we have admin access. Now that we have working admin access, uh, we can go ahead and do a whole different uh, SKU of commands. Uh, say I want to ban someone. Uh, let's, for example, just do myself. Uh, currently, there is no tab complete, uh, which is actually a feature, but regardless, Okay, if I ban myself, it doesn't actually automatically kick me. That's something that I do need to fix. However, if I am trying to reconnect right here, PSP server, it will say, uh, give it a second, that I have been banned and that I cannot connect. And it, no matter how many times you try to connect, it's not gonna connect until you unban yourself. Since I don't have any way to get onto the server right now uh, with another account, I'm just going to remove myself manually from the bands. Now that I've been removed from the bands, everything will be fine. And I can actually just go ahead and join. Now this actually refreshes in real time, allowing you to like make basically make sure that people are actually getting banned in real time. Uh, that makes the most sense because um, if you ban someone, you don't want them to just rejoin uh, and not be able to do things until the next server starts. Next time, the next uh, sort of commands that you can do is that you can also go ahead and op people. Uh, this opts people to operator level three, which only allows banning and unbanning, and soon to be kicking. Uh, kicking is just a simple process as well. Uh, I just need to uh, basically fix that. Either way, if I op, uh, for example, uh, some random player, and they'll say this person has been opt. If I go out of that, 
and look at the player data folder. Uh, if the player data, oops, the player data has not been created, uh, basically what's going to allow you to uh, do is going to it's going to basically just generate that player data first, and then once that's done, we will go ahead and work on it. And basically, it doesn't say really anything here except the op level is three. So that's how you can oper uh, create operators, and then you can obviously deop the person too. So these meep two four three two four three two four. There we go. Uh, and now it should be deopt. I'll go back into that folder, and you can go ahead and see that basically the person has uh, their op level. I didn't do that right. Uh, but either way, it's going to basically de-opt them and remove their operator permiss permissions. Uh, for some reason, it's not recognizing de-opt, uh, but that will be fixed upon release. Uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with another update.